Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. This is a part 2 tutorial video of how to create number series using user form. The download link for part 1 and macro code is given in the description below. Visit www.hbninfotech.com for more Excel VBA code examples. In part 1, we learned how to create user form link with macro to run it from Excel window. Making user form modeless. Adding frame on user form. Using radio or options button. Using text boxes. Using labels. Using command button. Changing caption for user form elements. And setting default values for text boxes. Now let's continue to code the user form. Now if you run this user form, you could see that none of the radio buttons are selected by default. Now let's set the first radio button as default. To do that, either double click the command button, or right click the user form in the project window, and click on view code to display a code window for the user form. Now, select user form object and initialize event from the drop down. This ensures that the code runs when the user form is initialized or started. Add this code to set the first radio button as default. Now if you run the user form, you could see that the first option button is selected by default. Let's try setting the second option button as default. In this way, you can set any of these three option buttons as default. Now, let's create some global variables to store temporary data. I recommend using the separate module for the variables. The global variables should be declared with public statement. The variables should be declared as long integers. For this tutorial you need to create for variables. Right now the variables x, y, a, b has not got any data. To prove that, let us make a small test. Before that, make sure that the immediate window is open. Since the variables x, y, a, b has not got any data, the value 0 is displayed. Now let's assign some values to these variables. For instance, we can store the data of the four text boxes of the user form in these variables. Let's see how. Double click the command button to launch the code window of the user form and type the code as shown.
Now run the user form, type some values in text boxes, and click on Create Series button. The values of the text boxes will be stored in those four variables we just created. Now let's test and see whether the variables have stored the values in the text boxes. Just run the test underscore variables macro that was created earlier. You should see the values in the text boxes in the immediate window. This proves that the variables just stored the data of the text boxes when the create series button on the user form is clicked. Now let's proceed. The goal of this user form is to create number series based on user input and conditions when the user clicks the command button. Have a closer look at this user form. It has three option buttons for text boxes and command button. The main intention is that when the user selects rows and hits the command button, the number series should be created across the columns. Similarly, when column is selected, the series should be created down the rows provided the series will be created, as per the starting and ending numbers as specified in the text boxes. The row and column offset is nothing but the empty cells between the number series. Now let's create a global macro that creates number series across the columns. Wow, this code works. Now let's add this code to the user form and make it work as per the user's input. A small change is required for this code to work as expected. Voila, the code works. Now let me explain the code. Here, the starting number represents the variable A, the ending number represents variable B, and the row and column offset represents the variables X and Y respectively. When the user clicks Create Series button, the number series is created according to the starting and ending numbers. The for next loop creates the number series. The code, 
active cell doll value equals n, writes the value in the cells, and the code active cell doll offset x comma y plus 1 dot select, moves the cursor to the next cell. The variables x and y, are not linked with the user form yet. The variables x and y, are set to 0 at the moment. That's the reason, the value 1 is added to the variable y. That means y plus 1 is 1. Taking this into consideration, the code active cell dot offset x comma y plus 1 dot select moves the cursor to one cell right. Thanks for watching. Watch the part 1 and part 3 of this tutorial to have a complete understanding. Don't forget to download the code. Tutorial and download links are given in the description below.